What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I really want to talk about how Red Dead Online is just broken. It's something I've been trying to avoid doing, hoping that Rockstar would fix the game, but there's still some issues that have been here since beta that are still persistent in the game. And it's just kind of gotten, I think, a lot of the community fed up with Red Dead Online just in general. Uh, first thing, of course, being connections. Uh, people are tired of getting on no matter what platform they play on and getting all of these error codes. I know it's on PC. I know it's on Xbox. Of course, I play on PS4, so you see them here as well. There's just a lot, lot of error, a lot of error codes saying you can't connect to the game server. A lot of people had these issues with the GTA Online. So it seems like it's a Rockstar thing. Those Rockstar servers just do not cooperate. It seems like with a lot of different internet providers out there. And a lot of people will tell you different things, whether it be your router, your speeds, whatever the case may be. I can get the game to work pretty well if I turn my QoS off on my router. Um, and it seems to work very well at that point. Um, I really could never get another answer from Rockstar of why that was. I, you know, I talked to them several times. I've made several videos about connections here on the channel. And I've communicated with Rockstar so much it's not funny. And, you know, I asked them once, I kind of had that solution. Why is that the case? And they really never could give me an answer. They always would say, you know, it's this, that, or the other. I know one thing is not internet speed issue for myself personally. You know, I pay for a good package for a reason because I do a lot of uploading on YouTube and I want that to be a fastest or the fastest process as possible. So I always keep an eye on my internet speeds. I pay for 100 down and I always have 100 down plus. I pay for 10 up, I always have 10 plus up. Anytime I check it, pings are always 20 or below. Uh, so, you know, I know it's not my internet speed particularly that could be the problem, but there's just something in general with Rockstar servers and everyone in the community that's playing the game. Some people have a lot of problems where they can log in some days and not others. Some people have problems where they can't log on at all. So it's something I think that should be looked at by Rockstar and has not been looked at. Like I said, people in GTA Online have this issue as well and has not been addressed there either as far as I know. If it has, please let me know in a comment down below. I don't play GTA Online, so I'm not 100% sure. I played it a long time ago, but not in the recent year or so. So uh, the other thing that I know was a big problem for the game was the PC release was very buggy. The PC release had a lot of issues, and I know from forums on Rockstar's website, on Reddit, that the PC still has big issues. And I think Rockstar was hoping that once the game was released on PC, it would kind of revive the game like, it did when GTA was released on PC and it really didn't have that effect because there were so many issues and bugs on the PC end. There's just a lot of issues and bugs in the game in general. There's a lot of glitches where people do gold glitches, money glitches, XP glitches, whatever they want to do. I'm not going to say you shouldn't do it or should do it. You know, Rockstar handles that on their own. That's not my job to, you know, say whether that's good or bad in the game. But at the same time, I know a lot of this stuff in the game causes problems just overall. You know, if there's a lot of glitches, a lot of bugs in the game. It just causes problems in the game experience for everyone just in general. And Rockstar really has not addressed those things either. It seems like every time they come out with an update, there's another glitch, there's another bug, there's another problem. And we don't have a lot of updates. I know that's one big issue with a lot of players is the people that can play consistently say there's not enough content. We don't get enough updates. We don't get enough fixes for these problems. It doesn't seem like Rockstar is going to be fixing these problems anytime soon. The, the game has been out for a little over a year now, and we're still having a lot of these big issues that we have seen since the single player was released and since the online beta itself was released. A lot of people have the camp bug still, and I have had this since the online beta came out, and it's just off and on. I don't have it consistently like some people have, but sometimes the camp just will not go out. Sometimes it will go out and go right back up. It's just a big pain considering that is one thing that you have to have in the online mode. And if you are doing your trader role, you definitely have to have that out. And when it goes away or you can't put it out, that's a very big annoyance in my opinion. I know animal spawns are another thing that are a big annoyance for a lot of people. I made a video I would have to look back, but I'm going to guess five or six months ago talking about animal spawns or what right around when the trader role was released. It seems like something happened there. A lot of people thought it was within the update. It was a glitch. It was a problem. Something didn't go right, but it has never been fixed. And it kind of makes the trader role hard to do in a lot of people's opinion because some servers you get in, and I won't even see hardly anybody in the server. I'll check the roster. There'll hardly be anybody in the server, and there still will not be any animals. So it's just overall, there's lots of bugs, glitches, and issues connection-wise that have kind of turned the community away from this game. And like I said, it's been over a year, and that's why I've kind of waited to make this video. I was hoping Rockstar would fix some of this stuff. But it does not seem like it's ever going to be fixed. And I think that's a bad thing for this game because it could have been very popular. I don't think it would have been GTA Online popular. But I think for the Red Dead community, it would have been a big success. 
And right now it's just kind of a, a, a downer. You know, a lot of people have stepped away from it and haven't played in months. And I can understand why. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And be sure also to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.